I don't know how to describe that strange illness. The devil terrified me. I became frightened of everything. My bed seemed surrounded by frightful realities. And yet, it was the lovely month of May, and the whole world was full of spring flowers. Only the little flower was wilting. But there was a sun not far away to which the petals of the little flower would turn. The statue of the Queen of Heaven. One Sunday, my sister Marie, after failing to get me to recognize her in my delirium, in tears, knelt at the foot of my bed. Then, turning toward Our Lady's statue, she began praying for me with all the fervor of a mother interceding for her baby's life. Then, I too turned towards my Heavenly Mother, asking her with all my heart to take pity on me now. Suddenly, the statue came to life. And Mary appeared to me utterly lovely, with a divine beauty I cannot possibly describe. There was a wonderful goodness and sweetness about her face, and her expression was infinitely tender. What went straight to my heart was her smile. Then all my pain was gone. Silently, two big tears trickled down my cheeks, tears of complete and heavenly happiness. Our Lady had come to me. How happy I am, I thought. But I must not tell anyone or this happiness who will go away. When I lowered my eyes, I recognized Marie at once. She had said to herself, seeing my gaze fixed on the statue, Therese is cured. So she was. The light from her gentle sun had revived the little flower, delivered her once and for all from her cruel enemy. She was alive.